Hello guys, it is I, Spiderfan2003, here with another LEGO Ninjago review. Today we are going to be reviewing this set, The Gamer's Market. Let's go. So, this is The Gamer's Market, alright. It's three little builds with nine different minifigures. Uh, let's start with like the little weapon shop here. I think it's a pretty cool set. Um... I think they did a pretty good job when making this. It's like a little kiosk. You could put, like, say, Scott here and, like, you know, it's like selling you the weapons. You have the little, like, green neon thing. I really like this uh, spinner piece. I, I do like that. And if you flip it over, there are some weapons on the sides, which is really cool to get those. I, I especially like this little piece here with the sword. Again, I'm sorry if I don't know what all these pieces are called. I haven't been up to date with lego especially with ninjago in a while i've just been recently kind of re back into lego you know how most people say they have like that lego dark age it's kind of what i've been going through for a while i've been definitely getting back into it now all right next build is like the one with the kitana this little fortress here and it's like a nice little entryway it's not too um big or expansive but it's like a nice like little pedestal for it. my only real issue i have is that this Right here, it doesn't have like one of those little studs you would put for this, so it doesn't really hold. You just gotta stand it in there, and if you're like moving it, it could fall off. See? But overall, that's still alright, but that's just a little nitpick I found, and I feel like that'd be an easy fix to do. And finally, here we have the uh, little avatar shop here where you'd like buy hats or clothes for your character and I, again this is a nice little stand here you got a nice selection of hats you got like this little one here you got a night hat top hat cowboy hat and also the prize thing of them all pink zane but we'll get to him in the minifigure section so speaking of which let's get there so we get nine minifigures we get avatar harumi okino scott avatar nia avatar cole uh, the Red Visors, um, let's see, what's his name, Richie, Digi J, and of course the one you all want to know this up for, Pink Zane. Overall, I do really like a lot of these minifigures, and it does help that most of them are exclusive to the set. Like, I, I definitely do love getting a Pink Zane, they did the great job replicating how he looked in season one this is definitely how i pictured a minifigure of him the digi j is very easy to get but this is still a nice inclusion um though if anything i do kind of wish they included a digi cole but i guess it'd be weird if they did it with the cole avatar i i guess i don't know because like digi cole doesn't really come in enough sets and digi j comes in i think six of the prime empire sets more than any of the other characters, I know that, so it'd be nice if it was, like, Cole or Nia, who didn't get as much representation. And also, speaking of the two, I'm gonna just say this right now. I don't really like these minifigures very much. I don't like the spies or anything, but, like, eh, I don't really think that... They're very standard and don't have as much detail as the, um, other Avatar figures, so I mean, I'm pretty underwhelmed with those, like, how much Lego... At least, like, with, like, if they did it, like, what they did with Pink Zane and made this, like, Rocky Danger buff and maybe gave Nia her, um, her blue suit from Season 10. I'm blinking out on what that's called right now, um, but, yeah, if they gave them those, I feel like people would be even more happy with that, because those are things people also want. Along with that, Scott's also not exclusive to this set, um, but he might as well be, because the set he's in is complete doo-doo, so, um, you want Scott, just get this, don't even get his car. Okino is also pretty nice, I do quite like, um, the hair piece he comes with, I like this, like, little sack thing here. Kinda wish there was, like, leg printing, you know, like, sandal printing like there was on the TV show, but not a, too much of a deal breaker. I really do like this new Harumi figure, I think they did a great job with this, like, little style of it, and I'm very glad that they actually did release a minifigure of this, um, because if you don't know, Harumi is, like, my favorite Ninjago villain, so, and it's nice to own a version of it, finally, and, um, I really do like the little Kill Bill-inspired suit, but, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, and when it comes to Richie and the Red Visors, I actually do quite like these, like, figures of the villains for Season 12, they're really well done, and nice-looking, 
Um, so overall, uh, when getting the set, if you want to get it, um, I would definitely recommend it if you're really into minifigures. This is definitely more for the minifigure than the build. The little builds back here are nice, but these guys are what you're getting it for. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on the, um, gamer's market. What do you guys think of this set, if you have it? Comment down below. And also, if you want to follow me and know what kind of, like, Lego sets I'm going to be getting in the future, follow my Twitter, or you can join my Discord if you want to talk to me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you dudes later.